Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right in my hands is We Promised Utopia number four. Now, this has been a really, really interesting series. Uh, one that actually gets you to, to think and think a lot. It's been a pretty solid sci-fi series that I've been enjoying. Uh, it's created by uh, Adrian Morales, Robert Holman, Charles J. Martin, and John Eric Osborne. Uh, written by Morales, Holman, and Martin. Illustrated by John Eric Robinson, Chloe Ella, uh, LMM, and Jonathan Kolsch. Lettered by Martin Kolsch and Osborne, with editing and additional support by Chloe Harrison, Steve Gooch, and Brian uh, Berlin. Um, all right, so how do I describe it? So the story takes place in three different eras. Um, I would call one like somewhat the present, uh, then there's like a future, and then far future. Uh, the semi-present is in a world where uh, where. Uh, Climate change has like really impacted everything. I'm trying to like really trying to think of how to describe this, uh, and there is kind of a movement to try to fix the damage that's been done, um, being led by like a semi TV personality celebrity. So that's kind of being dismissed. Um, it's it's interesting. It's it's a lot of kind of like how do we change everything about nations, their consumption, their economic system, their trading system. Like it really kind of goes through everything. Um, and then the, the future is the focus is on this world that's kind of like a utopia, but there's clearly uh, corruption within. So the question is, is what's that corruption? Who's kind of fueling it and what's going on there? Um, clearly this like utopia society that's going to save everything in the present probably leads into that corruption in the future. I mean, that's kind of the way I'm reading it. And in the far future, clearly the environment has collapsed. It's now an ice age. We're following a family as they're trying to survive. So whatever's done in the present, the future seems to fail, leading us to the far future. At least that's my take on everything. Um, what's really cool about the series is that the concepts are really, really deep, really well thought out. Uh, and if you really kind of like speculative sci-fi, you're going to like this series. Um, I'm, my only negative about it at all is it's so long between issues, you kind of have to get like reacquainted with it as you as you start reading. It's not a, a monthly comic. It's, I think, what, two or three months between issues, which just feels like a little bit of excessive. I wish it was coming out uh, quicker, but that's my biggest complaint. Um, but the, the concepts within are really, really good. In this one, we get a lot about uh, space elevators, and there's a whole thing in the back kind of discussing the concept of space elevators. And this is a real uh, scientific um, concept that may or may not work. Who freaking knows? Um, but overall, like it's, a, it's, I think, a really interesting series that the, the concepts are fascinating, and I think everything's kind of starting to come together in a good way. Um, the art, generally, I like... Um, you know, there's some sections I think I like better than others. So this is the future. I'm going to kind of show the present. This is the far future. That art style I'm not quite with. It's a little bit cartoony for me, though. It's, it's interesting. There's potential. And then we get the present, which is a bit more, I would say, traditional in some ways. Um, as I said, this is a really interesting series. If you really like sci-fi, sci-fi series, like sci-fi stories with a message and really kind of want to challenge you, uh, check this out. It's it's a fascinating, fascinating read. Uh, it says the next issue is out in the fall. I wish it came out sooner, um, but I'll be here definitely waiting to read it because I really want to see how all this comes together and see if kind of my read is right and like how the three storylines tie together. Uh, so yeah, this is out in comic shops now. You can go get it. We have a link below this video where you put in your zip code or tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. Uh, there is probably some links where you can purchase your own. They'll hopefully be affiliate links, so, so that means uh, easy to find. Uh, but we also get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank Literati Press for hooking us up with the review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.